So, joining us tonight, this is so exciting, yes. is Dr. Jennifer Burt, who is a researcher at MIT. Thanks for coming in. We should say one of your colleagues, Julian DeWitt, is on the team yeah. that yeah. discovered yeah. these planets. So, cool. so exciting. So, the question I think everybody wants to know, what are the chances of life on one of these planets? So the answer, to be honest, and I'm sorry if it's disappointing, is we don't know. <laughs> but these, these planets give us one of our best chances so far to try and figure that out. So the fact that they're nearby and the same size as Earth means that they make really good candidates for trying to look into their atmospheres and actually see what the, the gases there might be, which gives us clues then about what the planets themselves look like and are made out of. And that's step one, at least, to figuring out. <laughs> 40 light years away, I think it was astronaut Scott Kelly, an American astronaut, tweeted, 800,000 years it might take to get there with our current propulsion technology. Yeah. So what's next? What do we do to determine is there life? Is there a chance for life there? Uh, so for now, we, we stay right here, um, but we keep looking. So there is a NASA satellite called K2, which is actually currently staring at this part of the sky. And it's going to be looking for about 80 days, which is four times longer than the data that was used to find these five additional planets, bringing it to seven total. Wow. And so that gets that data comes down March 5th, I believe. It's immediately accessible to the public, so anyone can play with it. And not only will it make us or help us to understand these planets better, we might find more in the system. We don't know yet. So we, and, and, and we said that they, they could sustain life because there's probably water on this so planet. habitable zone means if there is water it would be liquid which is one of the things we think is necessary for life um, it, it doesn't tell you if there is water but that's what the James Webb Space Telescope that goes up in about a year will look at these planets as well they're great targets for it and that'll be able hopefully to start looking for signs of water so so fascinating dr. Jennifer Burt from MIT thank you so much for joining us by the way if you're really excited about this on my Facebook page Liam Martin right now we're gonna ask you a couple of additional great. questions mm -hmm. during the commercial break and then we'll be right back on the other side all right stay with us in the